Well, here I am in beautiful Gay Paris. It's kind of a cold day, a little bit windy, but you know, we've got some tips for how to stay healthy when you're traveling. So here we are in my house, which is really hollow sounding because I'm in the process of moving. Good tips to stay healthy while you travel is you should drink a lot of water especially getting on planes. Planes totally dehydrate you. You should use moisturizer everywhere, chapstick, and drink a lot of water. And then be careful, continue to drink a lot of water wherever you land. But there's a lot of countries in the world where the water is obviously going to make you sick. We've all heard about that. And we think we're really clever because we stick to the bottled water, which we should. Look it up, potable water. There's tons of websites that'll tell you. But the problem that people run into sometimes is the ice cubes. They sometimes will, you know, especially the restaurants, will give you tap water ice cubes. So usually ask for no ice. That's a really important tip. Another one I really like. Shit, I forgot something. Airplanes are cesspools. Airplanes are cesspools. In all shapes and sizes, carry these little things. These are little wet wipes. Um, you can find them, they give them to you in airport sometimes, you get them when you get chicken, uh, you can buy them in individual packets, which is what I recommend, um, and you should have them in your bags and stuff all the time. I use these everywhere. On your plane, wipe the plane off really good. I don't care if you're traveling business class or if you're traveling regular class, uh, rich people just get sick just like the rest of us. Um, so wipe your seat down, wipe everything down you're going to touch, wipe the buckle down, wipe your uh, remote control or any sort of settings on your little screen there. Wash it all up because airplanes are cesspools. I'm not a big products person, but I do um, always carry some of these sea blasts, which whichever country you're in, they'll have something like this. It's a packet of uh, orange flavored powder. If I just feel even a niggle coming on, I download tons of sea. I also have a B issue. B is your friend. The reason why B is your friend is because if you uh, have a tendency to drink when you travel, which a lot of people do, vitamin uh, B gets depleted when you drink alcohol while traveling or drink alcohol ever. So you should actually probably take a couple Bs right before you drink and after you drink because it depletes them. But also uh, Bs are about absorbing iron. Bs are about a lot of things. Now I've actually recently found a really cool product which I've been taking and it's had great results. Apparently these little suckers, which are from this company called Now, actually have the equivalent of like one of those bee shots you get in your ass in one of these little cherry flavored vials. They're fabulous. I get tons of energy when I take these things and I really highly recommend them. Uh, you can throw them in your suitcase because they're fully sealed and they're okay to put in your liquids and gels bag because they have a low amount of liquid. They're cherry flavored. They give me tons of energy and they're really great. Um, another really good one that is supposed to help ward off illness uh, is this Nature's Shield. Um, product, which is a natural oil. It's a natural um, essence or it's an essential oil. I suck. I suck. So you should not put essential oils right on your skin ever because they're actually super concentrated and they can burn you. But what you do is you get them with jojoba oil and then another oil. Okay, it's actually 20% jojoba, 80% grapeseed. Jojoba with a J, it's very well absorbed into the skin. It's a 30 ml bottle, 18 drops of this stuff. And I've been putting it on my wrists and I've been not getting like even a sniggle of a cough and I'm on planes constantly. So I think that this is actually working. So I like that. Don't travel without travel medical. Double check your visas and your MasterCards and everybody swears that they're covered and uh, you're often not covered. It's shocking if you have a precondition, if you didn't notify your credit card before you left. Sometimes it's like, oh, we cover you for $15,000 and you end up with a $30,000 or $50,000 bill. So don't trust that your credit card covers your travel medical. I believe AAA and CAA both have really good, like dollars a day travel medical plans that are pretty awesome. Um, so just make sure you actually really have good travel medical. Don't believe the myths that all foreign hospitals are evil and bad, and you can trust some foreign hospitals, um, although it's a really good idea to look them up on the internet. So check your hospitals, go online, um, make sure you have a plan because you really should know where you're gonna go if you get sick wherever you land. Uh, my very good friend stayed in Bumrungrad Hospital in Thailand, Bangkok, Thailand, rated on the top 10 list of all kinds of hospital lists. The actual real stay, 
And this guy had like an EKG. He just had, he had 10 tests or something done and he stayed in an emergency overnight. And the whole bill was like 3,200 Canadian dollars. So it goes to show you how much your American medical system is ripping you off and what real medical costs. Did I need to tell you to eat right and bring healthy snacks? Are you that stupid? Three words, like, subscribe, share. I grew that special for you.